How's it going, YouTube? I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to be talking about how the San Antonio Spurs could potentially be the next super team. Now, like I do for every single one of these type of videos I do make on this channel, this is a series I've been doing for the past couple years now where I go through the ba the best strengths for every single team in the NBA. The, the series is called the Next Super Team Series, which means I'll be giving some reasons or the best reasons or the best strengths of the Spurs team and saying how they could potentially be a very good team next year. Now, keep in mind, I make this type of video for every single team in the NBA, including the Knicks, the Suns, and a whole bunch of other bad teams, including all the good and all the worst teams in the NBA. So even though I did say this, I can guarantee you there will be at least one person in the comment section that says they will not be the next super team. I am fully aware of that. It's just a series. It's just a title that goes along with the series. But yeah, I'll be naming three reasons why I think the Spurs could potentially be the next super team. Without further ado, without running on too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so my first reason for this video is going to be that they have a very, very good duo when it comes to their guard and big man. As obviously they have DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge, who do combine together to make probably one of the best big man guard duos in the entire league, as they complement each other's games very, very well. And I could see them becoming one of the best duos in the entire league, not just big man and like guard wise, but one of the best duos in the entire league if they do develop and do keep on um, furthering and getting better and better and getting more comfortable while playing together. I could see them becoming a very, very strong duo, even stronger than they are right now. And I mean, we've already seen how strong they can be as Lamarcus Aldridge is coming off his best season since he's joined the Spurs, where we saw him average 21 points per game, 9.2 rebounds per game, and 3 assists per game, and also averaging 1 block per game, where I mean, this dude was probably probably one of the best power forwards in the league last year and definitely was a top 10 power forward in the league last year and he had debt by far that was the best season he's ever had with the Spurs and that might have been partially because of all the numbers that Kawhi would produce when he was there he's now like gone but I think LaMarcus Aldridge is really coming into his own and he's going to be once again like go back to his Portland days and probably become a top five power forward in the league depending on if he regresses or develops because he is kind of getting up there in age but I do think he still has a couple more years of very very good productivity coming from him. But then also DeMar DeRozan had a very strong year as well as he put up very similar numbers where he averaged 21 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 6.2 assists per game. And he showed that he can be the leading guard in the um in a front court, as he as he does not need Kyle Lowry or a good point guard to help him, DeMar DeRozan can single-handedly handle the um, point guard duties and ball handling duties for the most part, and that he can really do very very good. So I think both of them, both of their games complement each other's very well. Because DeMar DeRozan, obviously, he can shoot the three point where, pointer when needed, but his biggest strengths are his slashing and his mid range shooting. But with that being said, with him being as strong as he is all around the court, just being able to score pretty much from every part of the court, well, that takes a lot of pressure off of Lamar. Marcus Aldridge because now teams can no longer just crash down on Marcus Aldridge and double team him and now they have to play one-on-one -on -one situations with Aldridge which is going to be very hard to guard him with how talented he is around the rim but the same thing with DeMar DeRozan since Marcus Aldridge is so talented they're now if they do try to go all in on stopping Aldridge now you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one situation with DeMar DeRozan which is equally as bad of a matchup for pretty much everybody else in the entire NBA just through the absolute speed and athleticism DeMar DeRozan has he can get if he gets ahead of steam of the basket he will dunk on your best player Player. And also, though, he can get hot from the three-point line, and he has one of the best mid-range jump shots in the entire league right now. So just with them being a, how good they complement each other and how well they play with each other on the court after just one year together, I would not be surprised at all if we do see them become one of the stronger duos in the entire league as they get more comfortable playing together and they get the game plan even more down pat. But now my second reason for his video is going to be they have extremely good depth on this team. As obviously, I mean, you look at their starting lineup. They have Jamal Murray. Murray, Derek White, uh, DeRozan, Rudy Gay, and LaMarcus Aldridge. That's one of the best starting fives in the entire league, especially when you factor in the fact that he was their coach by Greg Popovich, so they're obviously fundamentally sound. But, I mean, Rudy Gay, very underrated player. I really like him. Aldridge becoming one of the best power forwards. DeRozan played very good last year at that small forward position when he had to. Derek White had a very strong season last year, which was very unexpected by a lot of players. And Devontae Murray, if he was not... Um, hurt last year and he didn't get hurt, he would have had a very strong season as well, and I think he's one of the gonna be, at least gonna be one of the better point guards in the very near future. He's very good on defense, like an extremely good defender, so he's just a little bit of offense away from being probably a top 15, top 10 point guard in the league in the very, very near future. But now, even though their starting lineup is extremely strong, so is their bench. As they have people like Patty Mills, Brian Forbes, Lonnie Walker, Damari Carroll, Trey Lyles, Jacopardo, and Marco Bellinelli, who 
will all be great contributors for their team going into the very, very near future. I mean, all of them can produce very well. I mean, the veterans and Patty Mills and Manu, um, I mean, and Bellinelli, they're also very, very good together, and they, you've like, they have been playing in the Spurs system for a little while now, so obviously they're just going to be good off the bench, very solid players. Lonnie Walker will be a second year in the league. Popovich usually doesn't like to use rookies, so with it being a second year in the league, he should be a much better and much bigger like contributor to the team. Damari Carroll, he was an underrated pickup. I do like Damari Carroll, and Brian Forbes is also a very strong player off the bench, and he may even steal some starting minutes away from Derek White this year. That's going to be a cool matchup to watch as well. And now my third reason, and probably the most obvious reason, is they're coached by Greg Popovich. Greg Popovich is one of the best coaches to ever do it. I'm pretty sure he's made the playoffs every year for like the past, like what, eight years or something like that, something crazy. They've had a winning record pretty much every year he's ever coached. I mean, he's very good at coaching up players. Marcus Aldridge, for example, he had a, he struggled a little bit with the Spurs when he first got there, and now look at him now. Marcus Aldridge is becoming one of the stronger power forwards. DeMar DeRozan had one of his strongest season with him. They're always a very good defensive team because of how fundamentally sound they are. They have role players that shouldn't be good, like Derrick Wright and Brian Forbes, who are huge contributors to the team. Devontae Murray, one of the best defensive point guards in the entire league, and probably one day be one of the best point guards in the entire league as well. So, I mean, Coach Popovich, anytime you have him as your coach, you have a chance to win a lot of basketball games. But unfortunately, guys, that's going to be for this video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Spurs can be the next super team? And where do you think the record's going to be? Do you think they will make the playoffs? Do you think they won't? I hear our thoughts in the comment section below. And also, if you did like the video, pull like button, subscribe button, it means the absolute word to me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Because I have a blessed day. So you need to have a blessed day. All glory to God. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah.